Okay, once more, welcome to this video tutorial, Rudiments of Music. We are now in module 5. Okay, in this module, we are going to discuss how to interpret 2-4 time signature. First off, we are going to learn how to identify music scores that are written in 2-4 time signature, assuming it is not identified there. Then we are going to go through some examples, then we do uh, module 5 assignment. Okay, identifying 2-4 time signature. How do you identify music scores that are written in 2-4 time signature, assuming it is not written down clearly for you to see? How do you find out that this copy is in 2-4 time signature, so on and so forth? Now, from our previous lesson, I can remember we studied this, how to identify time signatures. The same rules, the same principles apply here. All you need to do is count the number of colons that you have in each measure. For example, take a critical look at this. You see we have only one colon there and different signs. But this is what we want to count. These ones don't matter for now. Okay? In the next measure, how many do we have there? One. And in the next measure, we have only one. So, what do we do? Count the number of colons you have in each measure. Then, add one to whatever value you got. And that gives you this value up there. Okay, let me uh, borrow the word numerator for now. That gives you the numerator. And once you know what the numerator is, you can deduce what the denominator is and you get your time signature. Very simple for sulfur notation. Okay, there is so much about this. The one up there and the one down there. But for the sake of this tutorial, uh, let's concentrate on how to identify these things easily. Maybe in subsequent tutorials, we'll learn more about uh, time signatures. Okay, so look at that. Okay, for some um, copies, you might not, on music score, you might not see uh, anything written down there where you have uh, the cases of anacrosis, which we mentioned in, in the previous uh, modules. You might ignore the first bar and just start counting the one, at the, or you can use any bar. You mustn't count the one in the first bar. You can use any bar, maybe the one in between, or even the second page or third page, depending on how many pages you have. Just count uh, uh, how many colons you have in that measure. And add one to whatever value you got. Let's say you counted X. Add one to the X. Whatever value you, you get is your numerator. From there, you can deduce your denominator, and you know the time signature. Very simple. In this case, we counted only one. We added one to it and we got two. So nobody told me that definitely this is two four. Yes. Okay. Now let's talk about how to count these bits in two four time signature. How do we count the bits? Remember, in two four time signature, you can only have two full bits in a bar. That figure two means you can only have two full beats in a bar. By bar, I mean measure. So you can have only two beats 